Hi! In this second part of the tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to install and quickly test Gambas. To do this, I am going to use the command line interface in Terminal to add a repository, update the Linux Software Manager, and then install Gambas 3 Stable. There are newer, more experimental versions available, and there are also older versions available via the built-in GUI-based Software Manager but I recommend using the better tested but newer versions available through the Terminal's Software Manager. After Gambas is installed, I will quickly create a Hello World program to test the installation. The version of Linux that I am using in this video is Mint 19.3. It is one of the most popular versions of Linux, and it is based upon Ubuntu Linux, another very popular distribution, which is itself based upon the Debian system. Such family trees are common in Linux, but knowing the lineage of a distribution really isn't necessary for using a Linux system at all. Under the hood, all Linux systems tend to run the same. There is a great deal of choice in pre-configured versions, which some users, at first, find intimidating. But all you really have to do is choose any popular version, and don't worry, there are many detailed recommendations for very popular Linux distributions everywhere. Ubuntu, for example, is very popular and Mint, based upon Ubuntu, is a very popular version amongst MS Windows users due to its desktop similarities to Windows. That's the great thing about modern Linux. You can just install a popular distribution and hit the ground running without ever having to add or change anything. However, if you decide you want something different or more powerful or more flexible, you can modify and configure Linux however you see fit. Here I am going to use the terminal command line. There are several ways to launch the terminal. You can simply select terminal on the taskbar, or you can open the menu and select the terminal application from the administration menu. Or you can just hold down the control and alt keys and press T. Once the terminal is running, I am going to copy and paste the necessary terminal commands into the command line and press enter after each line. There are only three commands that need to be entered to install Gambas. The commands I am entering are in the description below the video. You can type them in manually, but I recommend simply copying them and pasting them into the terminal to avoid mistakes. The first command, which I'll paste in, adds the Gambas repository to the software manager called apt. You'll notice that I am prefacing the command with the sudo command. This is because, for security, installing software in Linux requires administration authority. The sudo command will ask for the administrator account's password. Don't worry, you only have to enter the password once during a single terminal session. So now, cut and paste the following command. sudo add apt repository ppa colon gambas dash team forward slash gambas3 and press enter. Next enter the password from the administrator account when prompted. Then press the enter key and wait for the command to execute. This command adds the Gambas repository to the software manager's list of resources. Now copy and paste the following command. sudo apt-get update This command tells the software manager to use the newly updated list of sources. And finally, to install Gambas, copy and paste the command sudo apt-get install Gambas3.
and again press the Enter key. After Gambas is installed and you are back at the command prompt, type Exit and press Enter. The terminal will close. Now that Gambas has been installed, you can go to the menu to see that you can now launch Gambas from the programming folder. To test the Gambas installation, select Gambas from the menu. Once Gambas comes up and you've closed the tips of the day, select New Project from the left hand pane and select Graphical Application and the Next button. Gambas now asks the user to select the parent directory for the new project. Go ahead and create a My Programs directory. Again select Next and Gambas will now ask for a project name and project title. I am going to call both Hello World 1. Finally select OK. The new project will come up in the Gambas Integrated Development Environment or IDE. Here is where you can access the various project resources. The left hand pane of the IDE shows all the folders and elements of a project. In this case, at this point in the project, all we really have is the base form. Double click on the F main element which will bring up the new empty form. Here you can add graphical program elements to the new empty form. Over in the lower right hand corner of the Gambas IDE is the toolbox. One of the elements is a button control. It's the one with OK as the caption. Just click on the button and place your mouse somewhere over the center of the form. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse to draw a button on the form. Size and placement really aren't important at this point. You'll notice that if you click on a graphical program element, pick boxes will appear around the object. These allow you to resize the elements. You can also move the elements around by click and holding them and dragging them around.
It's a good idea to save frequently. You can select Menu, Save Project, or you can select the green down arrow on the toolbar. Go ahead and save the current version. Next we are going to add text to the button. Select the button on the form. You'll notice that the rightmost pane in the IDE now says button 1 button at the top. Move down the list of what are called properties until you reach the word text. Mouse click in the field next to text and type hello. Now for some code. Double click on the button. The main work area in the middle of the IDE will change to the code window. You'll notice that the code for this project starts with button one click. This is the code that will execute when a user clicks this button. Add the code message paren double quote hello world double quote close paren and press the enter key. Don't worry, I will revisit what all of this means and why it is structured this way in later videos. This is just a quick test. Go ahead and double click on the F main element in the left hand pane and the program form will be displayed in the main area of the IDE again. Save the program again and click the run arrow on the toolbar. The program will run. And when the program we labeled hello is pressed, a message box pops up and displays the hello world message. Go ahead and click the message box's OK button to close the message. Then to end the program, just click the X in the program's upper corner. That's it. Gambas is installed and we created a basic program. Next, to compile the program into an executable and place it on the desktop, select Project on the File menu, then Make and Executable. Navigate to where you want to place the Gambas program. And then select OK. Go ahead and close Gambas. Then to run the new Gambas program on the desktop, just double click on it. Again, Thanks for taking a look at these videos and joining me as I explore the Gambas language and making these videos. I hope you find them useful.